Assalamualaikum and hi, we group Obsidian. We are going to talk about thermal or contact metamorphism. So, contact or thermal metamorphism. Contact metamorphic rocks form under conditions of high temperature and low pressure. They are arrayed in areolus or metamorphosed zones around protons and other intrusive igneous bodies. Next, we move on to the contact metamorphism process. Contact metamorphism occurs where a magma body enters the upper part of the crust. Any type of magma body, from a thin dike to a large stalk, can lead to metamorphism in contact. The type and intensity of the metamorphism and the width of the metamorphic aureole will depend on a number of factors including country rock type, intrusion body temperature and body size. Okay, next, a large intrusion will contain more thermal energy and cool much slower than a small one, thus providing metamorphism with a longer time and more heat. This will enable the heat to spread further into the country rock, creating a large aureole. Usually, metamorphic contact aureoles are quite small, ranging from a few centimeters around small dikes and seal to as much as 100 meters around a large stalk. Contact metamorphism can occur over can occur over a wide range of temperatures, from about three hundred degrees Celsius to over eight hundred degrees Celsius. And of course, the type of metamorphism and the formation of new minerals will vary. And last, also important, is the nature of country rock, that it will convert mud rock or volcanic rock into horns. Limestone will be transformed into marble and quartzite into sandstone. One of the products that will be produced from thermal metamorphism is marbles. Marbles form when limestone is subjected to the heat and pressure of metamorphism. It is composed primarily of the mineral calcite and usually contains other minerals such as clay minerals, micos, quartz, pyrite, iron oxides and graphite. Under the condition of metamorphism, the calcite in the limestone recrystallizes to form a rock that is a mass of interlocking calcite crystals. So, to know it is marbles, there is four properties that we can look. First, color. Marble is usually a light color rock. For acid reaction, it is one of the most effective acid neutralization materials. Marble also has the low hardness and solubility. Marble has ability to accept a polish. Marble can be polished to a high luster. Next, we'll be looking at the second rocks or product from the thermal metamorphism, which is quartzite. Quartzite is formed when quartz sandstone altered by heat, pressure, and chemical activity during thermal metamorphism. The characteristics of quartzite is it is hard, non-foliated rock, grainy and rough surface, mainly because it followed the characteristics of the parent rocks. The usability of quartzite is main is mostly in engineering, mainly speaking in building. Used for flooring, wall cladding, bathroom and fireplace. Due to the fact quartzite is stand well again weather and heavy traffic. Okay, next, the product of thermal metamorphism or contact metamorphism. One of the product is hornfels. It formed by contact of sedimentary rocks like shale, mudstone or other clayish rock with hot igneous rocks. The rocks usually in dark color like you can see in this picture. And it's also a fine green rocks and non foliated. Like you see in this picture, the texture of this rock is smooth. And to clarify this rock as a horn fells, it is hard, so it needs microscopic observation to clarify it. And the uses of this rock is as aggregates in construction and road. That's all from us. Thank you.